Okay guys, in this video I will talk about torsion in any structure. How torsion is created in any concrete structure or any steel structure and what is the result and what are the precautions you should take for countering this torsion in structure. Okay, so before starting this video, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so let's start. At the very first, how does torsion actually created in any structure? Okay, so we will consider this building. Okay, and you can see that the shape of this building in plan is like an L. Okay, and where is the CG of this planned shape? Yes, here is the CG. Okay, now let's say you are applying some lateral load in the form of a wind load or seismic load. Okay, so first apply load in this direction. Okay, like this. Okay, so all the lateral load which are being applied here, there is no problem because they are passing more or less within the CG. But what about the load passing through this region? Yes, the resultant load here, this one is actually creating a moment about this CG like this. Okay, and you know that any moment that is acting along this plan of the structure is nothing but a torsion. Agree? Okay, now let's say the load or the wind load or the seismic load is coming from this direction. Okay, so the load which are going through this portion, there is no problem because they are again passing more or less through this CG. But what about this load? Okay, again this load is creating a torsion about this CG. Got it? So, if you have any building where the plan is like this one, if the wind load or the seismic load is coming like this or like this, in that case, the CG is lying here of this building and a torsion is going to be created within this building like this. Okay, clear? Now, what is the effect of torsion? Before discussing about the effect of torsion in this structure, let's understand about the basics of torsion. Okay, let's say this is the shaft, here it is fixed. Okay, and now you are applying torsion like this. Okay, and what is the stress distribution? You know that the stress distribution is linear and it is zero at the center and maximum at this outermost fiber. Okay, so if you consider for this direction again, here it is zero, but it is maximum in this direction. Okay, then it is reduced, reduced, reduced to zero. Okay, again it is valid for this direction also. It is maximum here, then it is reduced reduced and finally it is zero okay so you have understood what is the effect of torsion in any member okay now consider this torsion effect for a whole structure okay again consider this building this is the l shape plan okay this is the cg and let's say first we are applying the lateral load like this and due to this load the torsion is going to be created like this about this CG okay and due to this torsion again the maximum stress are going to be generated at the farthest point so along this direction maximum stress is going to be generated in this column okay and in this column because along this direction this is the farthest point again for this column because along this direction this is the farthest point okay and finally this one and this one so here you can see that due to this torsion all the corner columns are going to be affected clear so in this building also all these corner columns this one this one this one and this one and finally this one these corner columns are going to be affected so you have to design all this corner column considering this torsional effect in this overall structure otherwise your column may fail 
okay so this is all about the concrete structure what about the steel structure okay so let's say we are considering this steel structure again the plan shape is just like an l okay so definitely here is also all these corner columns are going to be affected okay but in addition to this corner column effect there will be some other effect okay so where is the cg let's say the cg is here okay so here is the cg and let's say we are applying some lateral seismic load along this path okay so due to this seismic load the torsion is going to be created like this okay so this is the torsion in this structure and due to this torsion here is the tangential force here is the tangential force again here is the tangential force okay and finally here is a tangential force so if you resolve all this tangential force acting in those columns you will get some horizontal component like this one and this one again like this one and this one and also for this one this is the horizontal component and this is the horizontal component okay so here you can see you are applying the lateral load only along this direction but due to this l shape plan the torsion is being created and due to that torsion everywhere you are getting some lateral load everywhere okay so to resist all this lateral load component you need to effectively provide the bracings in all the direction okay otherwise your structure may collapse under severe seismic load okay so that's all about the torsional effect on structure if you like this video don't forget to share it